A huge storm is coming, and this will be very different from anything that we have seen recently. A major weather pattern change is taking shape that will unleash a rare December heat wave, powerful winter storms, heavy rain, and even the return of severe weather. Temperatures are set to rapidly warm up across the United States, marking a dramatic and abrupt reversal from the cold. That reversal creates a sharp temperature gradient in the north central United States and the Great Lakes, where a winter storm will sweep across the region, bringing heavy snow, strong winds, and dangerous travel conditions. Farther south, temperatures and a lot of moisture are coming together. This will create a low-end severe weather threat across parts of the Ohio Valley and Dixie Alley on Thursday, with damaging winds and even a low-end tornado potential existing. On the other hand, our jet stream is changing to zonal flow. What that means is that a strong atmospheric river event is about to target the Pacific Northwest, dumping heavy rain at lower elevations and heavy mountain snow, raising ground growing concerns for flooding. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about this large storm that is about to impact the United States. And I want to begin this forecast by talking more about our weather pattern that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days, as this will be a very different weather pattern than what we've seen all December long. So let's go ahead and begin with that. This is our jet stream right now. This is your upper level winds in our atmosphere. And right now, we actually have a very strong jet stream across the Pacific Northwest. And this is basically ripping lots of moisture out of the Pacific Ocean right now, and it's leading to significant flooding back over in areas like Washington, Oregon, and Northern California, and then a lot of mountainous snow, and this is going to continue most likely through Christmas, so this is a very dangerous event that's actually taking place. I know many of you that are in Washington and Oregon see this quite often, but we've had rivers reaching record levels recently, which is obviously concerning for residents that are in low-lying areas. As we go into late Wednesday and Thursday, some of that moisture is actually going to come out of the Pacific and eventually move over the Rockies, and that's going to create our next large storm, which is going to impact millions of you across the Midwest, Ohio Valley, back through the Southeast, and even really just along the East Coast in general. It's going to begin late Wednesday night. It's going to be a pretty intense low pressure system that's going to make its way across the Northern Plains, and then Thursday is going to be the big day, where we have a lot of different things happening, one of which will be the threat of snow, which could lead to blizzard conditions in the upper Midwest and Northern Plains, and rain could actually fall back over in areas like Chicago and even Southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin, and this is also going to help to pull out a ton of warm and moist air out of the Gulf, which means that we are going to see a rapid temperature increase across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, which means a lot of snow is going to melt on Thursday, and we could even see a little bit of severe weather in the Ohio Valley, with a wind threat being the main concern, but maybe an isolated brief tornado not being off the table. And then by Friday and Saturday, that dip in the jet stream behind it is going to bring in a little bit more Arctic air, mainly to the upper Midwest, but we will definitely feel that cold front moving across the Ohio Valley in the Northeast. Temperatures will drop right below freezing again. And then by next weekend is when our jet stream becomes very zonal, but any sort of moisture that is able to come out of the Pacific and moves over the Rockies could end up causing further problems for those in the northern tier of the country right before a busy Christmas holiday. So that is something they'll have to be keeping an eye on. And then once we get closer to Christmas, things get a bit more uncertain, but we'll have a little preview to what's going to happen around Christmas in just a moment. Now we have a lot to talk about, including the threat of heavy rainfall that could lead to flooding, snow, and also the big temperature swing that's about to happen. So we're going to begin with our future radar. This is what's happening right now. We have a lot of rain falling across the Pacific Northwest at this hour. Back over in Washington and Oregon is where it's actually going to ramp up a lot this afternoon. Some of the heaviest rainfall is expected across western Washington, including Seattle, back into southwestern Oregon, and also northern California. By late tonight and early tomorrow, that rain and snow will continue, and then some of that energy is going to start to make its way over the Rockies as we go into Wednesday morning. And notice how a low pressure system is going to develop at 981 millibars. So a pretty strong storm system will be making its way across the Northwest. And this will eventually move into the Northern Plains late Wednesday. This is going to become our next large storm, which is going to be bringing a risk of snowfall. But as of right now, it appears as if that snow is mostly going to be staying to the extreme Northern side of the United States. We're talking North Dakota, Montana, Wisconsin, Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Minnesota. And then as we go into early Thursday, this storm system will start to spread snowfall a little bit further down to the south on the backside of the low pressure system. While all that's happening, we are going to have very strong winds all around this low pressure system, especially on the north and west side, which means that blizzard conditions are going to be on the table. Even if we do not pick up over 12 inches of snow in some of these areas, blizzard conditions are possible because of the snow that is already on the ground. And this does not just include northern Minnesota and North Dakota. 
if we end up seeing some snow on the ground still back over in Iowa, for example, while this low pressure system passes, we could end up having near blizzard conditions during the daytime on Thursday. So just something to keep in mind here. It's definitely a possibility for some of you. As we go into late Thursday, we're going to be watching for very heavy rainfall and even some thunderstorms across the Ohio Valley. All right. There is a potential for severe weather on Thursday. I think the biggest concern is going to be located here, mainly in Ohio, Indiana, back into Kentucky, Tennessee, perhaps very far northern Mississippi and Alabama for an isolated wind threat. That is the biggest concern. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour are on the table. I do not think a tornado can be ruled out at this point. I just don't think the environment is that favorable for tornadoes. We're not going to have enough moisture pull basically out of the Gulf for there to be a legit tornado risk, but definitely can't rule out a spin-up tornado or two. And as we go to late Thursday, snow is going to continue across the upper peninsula of Michigan all the way back through Canada. We're also going to continue to see the Pacific Northwest get slammed by a massive atmospheric river event. Heavy rain and snow will ramp up again Thursday night. And then by Friday, this big storm is mainly impacting the Northeast where heavy rain will continue. We'll have a little bit more snow late Friday back over in the Northern Plains, but not anything like a winter storm. And then by Saturday and Sunday, we are going to be talking about very quiet weather east of the Rockies right before Christmas, which is great news. And then back along the West Coast, we're just going to continue to see a ton of rain and a ton of snow. Very active stretch of weather to start off December across the Pacific Northwest. One area that's struggling, though, is back over here in the Sierra Nevada. We have a very low amount of snow that has fallen so far this winter. That is actually something we predicted in our winter forecast. I thought this area would be lacking in terms of snow and rain, and it so far has, and it does not look like that's changing. And then right around Christmas, this is kind of an early preview of what our radar could look like on Christmas Day. Again, it's still over nine days from now. Things are definitely going to change between now and then. But for right now, I don't see any major problems in our hands. Yes, there could be a snowstorm. Yes, there could still be rain along the West Coast. Yes, it's probably going to be warm too. But as of right now, I'm not seeing any major problems. Let's knock on wood though, because again, things can still technically change. I do have a couple things to talk about about these upcoming large storms. The first thing is going to be the winds out of this large storm system later this week. And that's Wednesday into Thursday. Winds are going to pick up quite a bit across the Great Plains and the Midwest. We'll have wind gusts upwards of 70 to 75 miles per hour over in the Dakotas Thursday morning. So any snow on the ground is going to be blowing all over the place. Late Thursday is when those winds will expand further to the east. We'll have widespread wind gusts around 40 to 60 miles per hour. That is anywhere from Oklahoma all the way back into Minnesota. So any remaining snow on the ground will cause problems across areas like southwest Minnesota, back into eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. And then as we go to late Thursday and Friday, the winds will start to calm down in those areas, but will remain strong in the Ohio Valley. And then by the weekend, winds will pick up again, but not nearly as intense. So again, blizzard-like conditions are a possibility on Thursday. So just keep that in mind if you're traveling anywhere in the United States. In terms of total snowfall accumulation, this is what the GFS model is showing as we go into Thursday, which yes, this would be a pretty significant winter weather event if this were to happen. But I do think we're going to see a more realistic expectation of around three to seven inches of snow for most of these areas. We may end up seeing a swath of around a foot of snow, but it's too early to tell if that's going to happen. This low pressure system is definitely hard to predict, but if you're back over northern Minnesota or North Dakota, definitely be ready for this, especially over near Fargo and Grand Forks. I think generally speaking, though, the totals will not be nearly as high as what this model is showing. And then back over in the Pacific Northwest, we are talking about a threat of major flooding, but there's even a risk of severe weather for today back over in Washington, Oregon, and even northern California, where there will be an isolated risk of damaging winds. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something similar to this as we go into Thursday and early Friday as the next wave of that atmospheric river comes, but definitely something to keep an eye on. Again, we're not just talking about flooding rainfall potential, but there could even be some high winds that knock down trees and power lines. Now, in terms of total rainfall in the Pacific Northwest, we are expecting a widespread three to seven inches of rain across much of western Oregon, Washington, and northern California. This is only, though, over the next 48 hours. If we go beyond this and go all the way through about December 22nd or so, the totals get even more absurd because we are just going to see so many waves of this rain over the next seven to 10 days. And we could easily have in the higher elevations upwards of six to 12 inches of rainfall. And then in the lower elevations back over near like Seattle, for example, three to seven inches would be more likely than not. But again, a lot of rain is on the way. Make sure that you are prepared. And if you have any friends or family that live up here, spread the word and share this video. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and a huge thank you for 1.5 million subscribers if you want to watch the reaction of this it is on my social media pages on twitter and facebook at max velocity wx they're also linked in the description below thank you for all of your support and we will see you in the next video